Okay, so it's back to uh, talking a little bit about my um, beauty regimen. And one of the things that I have to do is keep my, my fingernails looking pretty for filming. Um, and I've had a lot of people ask me, how come your nails always look so good? Well, I cheat. I'm going to show you what I do. I use packages like this, and you can see this fingernail is not got a nail on it, but the rest do. And I have some uh, issues with my fingernails. I'm not one of those that's lucky enough to have pretty nails all the time. So even if I were to, if I were not to wear my fingernails, you'd probably get distracted by how they look. This is one of my better shaped fingernails. So here we go. Inside the package, they give you a little fingernail file in most cases. Some of them don't. And you can buy your own at your local uh, pharmacy. And you can also find these in your grocery store. I prefer to use one of these glues rather than the one that they include in the kit because the ones that they include in the kit clog up real easy and the nails don't seem to stay on as well. So the next thing is you can see that this one this nail is really pretty. It has uh, teal colors, but the only reason it does is because I painted over it using this. And I did so before I put the nails on. So those of you who have a hard time when holding things or painting your left hand or your right hand, paint the nail first and then put it on afterward. This has a clear backside to it. So you can see how clear that is, where some of the other ones have a, a more of a matte finish or it blocks your color. So if you have a really deformed fingernail, then you don't want to buy those that have a clear back because it's going to expose the nail color below. And then you put, you choose the nail that's going to fit your finger the closest. And this is the nails that I'm using here. I've uh, I've begun buying quite a bit of these over time. I go ahead and put it on like that, and it fits my nail, but it's really quite long on the back side, and I tend to keep mine rather short. But if you were to glue it on and then file from this side, you'd lose all that white area there. So I file from the opposite side here. File a little bit at a time, put it on, and hold it and flip it over until you see the length that you like. And try again. It's getting there, but now it's so wide here when I put it on my nail, I can't really put it on my finger because it's kind of boxy on the end. So you can take and now form the sides so that it looks more nail shaped. Do it a little bit at a time, push very lightly. And see how I come up from beneath and it has that little flippy. And then you just kind of take it off like that. And do that again on the other side. Pushing lightly. This is a light file, but not really light. Or it would take too long. And file it off. Now you see again, put it on, flip it over. That's more like my length that I like it to be. And so now, also make sure that you wash your hands, wash your fingernails, make sure that they're really clean. You can use dish soap to make sure there's no oil on your fingernail. And I use a fungus, even though I don't have any fungus, and just put it on your nail because the fingernail that you're going to put on there, the moisture could build underneath before uh, you remove it, and that could cause 
fungus to grow. So that protects your nail from any fungus. It's really important that you don't let the nail come up on your skin on either side because it'll eventually just, it'll pop off quicker. And before you begin, you want to make sure that you push back your cuticle so your cuticle doesn't get stuck underneath the uh, fingernail. And then be prepared to grab it. Think about which direction it's going to glue on and have it easily in a position where it's easy for you to grab it. And then put your glue on your fingernail. I also like to have, I use this, what I'm, what I have everything on here is a box top with a paper towel in it. And I have a regular napkin ready for any glue that comes out from here. Now I brush the nail back and forth to make sure it's fully covered and make sure it's straight. And then you push down and keep holding it. This is your napkin to wipe off any glue. I don't like using tissue because the tissue can get stuck to your finger. So you apply pressure. And then you have time to adjust it with some glues and other glues you don't. So make sure you select a glue as you're learning that doesn't dry too quickly. Also find that if I do this when I'm cold, the glue doesn't take as well as when I'm, my body is warm. There you go, and that's how you can make pretty fingernails.